ain't nobody telling me that I look this big. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is geared to my weight loss journey. As you've seen from the title, I lost 50 pounds. So I just wanted to share what I did to lose it, how long it took. Everyone is different, so how I lose weight might not be the way you lose weight or how fast you lose weight. And in no way, shape, or form, my nutritionist, a doctor. But I just wanted to just share my way. I did just to help you out. So if you like my videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can see my weight loss journey. Follow my journey with me. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And let's get right into the video. Background about myself. I am a 5'2". Um, in high school, I'm just gonna start from I'm just gonna start from middle school. I was always skinny. I believe like the eighth grade to uh, maybe sophomore year, my highest was like 145, and I still think that's kind of like pushing it for a girl that's five two. But anyways, my highest was 145, and then after that, I was probably like 125 to 130 my whole life. So let me start when I start putting the pounds on. The pounds came on after I had my son. I was drinking milkshakes, I was eating Twinkies. I went to this place called Pets. Me and my boyfriend went to this place called Pets almost every week. We went every single weekend and got cheese steaks, cheese fries. Like we ate out all the time. So um, that was just the way I gained weight. Like I really realized I was gaining weight when I had went to church. I went to church for the first time after I had my son and I gained so much weight, like I gained so much weight and I saw the picture of myself and I was like, oh my God. A lot of people think that, you know, I gained weight because I had a baby, no. I was good, I was straight, like my whole pregnancy was, was straight. Granted, I didn't have my son at six months, so I didn't really grow that big and I didn't get any stretch marks like other women did, but um, I definitely did gain a lot of weight from stress. I'm gonna also tell y'all the weight I was before. So before I had my son, I probably was at least like 125, 130. I stayed that my whole entire pregnancy. But I did gain, I did like move a lot of weight just because like I was like sick and stuff like that. Then fast forward, the year or so go by, I reached my highest of 195 pounds. Like I still, I still can't even picture it in my head, but when I look back at old pictures, which I'm gonna insert like some pictures either on this side or this side, I'm gonna insert some pictures for y'all so y'all can see that I was freaking huge. C according to me, no offense to anybody that is that weight right now and my height, but me, I've never in my life been that weight. So that was just like, it was a big deal for me. It took away a lot of stuff like self-esteem. Like I did not want to take pictures. I did not want to go to church. I did not want people to see me in public. I didn't want none of that. Just because like I was that weight, it was just freaking killing me. Like I started working out with my sis Cindy for a little bit. We started working out. I wasn't really consistent. Like, I wasn't consistent with the way I worked out, the way I ate or anything like that. She was, cause she's a fitness trainer and she also is a nutritionist. So she knows her body and knows the way of living good and healthy and I just wasn't ready. It's like I was ready, but then again, I wasn't really ready to like lose the weight. And I would lose like five and gain it right back. Like it was just freaking crazy. And then girl, one day, one day, girl, I was like enough is enough. I started working out so heavy. Like I started working out heavy after, in the morning I would jog. In the morning I would jog for at least 30 minutes um, around my neighborhood. And then after work, I would go straight to the gym and spend like an hour there and just literally work out. Let's talk about the first thing I did to lose my weight, which was the intermittent fasting. My scheduling was really, really weird when I was working. At that point in time when I was working at Atlantic Care, it was probably uh, nine in the morning to seven. It just, it, like, it really depended. It was like, there was no set schedule. So I just had to like do what I had to do. But I would eat 12 to eight. So anything before 12 or anything after eight, I did not eat. So basically I would eat lunch, a snack, and then my dinner, and probably like a little snack at the end. So I was really, 
really deep in that. I feel like that really, really helped me out a lot because I wasn't just up eating, snacking, my body was trying to rest. I was just holding on to calories and just being able to uh, just cut off my eating and have some restriction to my diet because I felt like if I didn't have restriction to my diet, like what was the point? Um, and also, speaking of diet, I ate meat. I ate no meat, no pork, no anything. I did eat um, fish and seafood, so I was more of like a pescatarian diet. But other than that, like I didn't eat any meat, like any. I don't even think I was. I don't really drink dairy, like so. I the main dairy that I do consume is ice cream, and I wasn't even having ice cream. So and I drink almond milk. I don't even drink like whole milk or anything like that. So I put out a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that I feel like um, is bad for you. Anyway whether you're on a diet or just like a healthy way of living. I feel like there's certain things that you should just like cut out your diet to um, just help your body cleanse. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just so much extra hormones and processed things. It's just, it's just not good for you. So, and then uh, another thing, another thing that I did do was I juiced. Bernie, I did intermittent fasting, juicing, no meat, morning real clean I worked out an hour a day after work and I ran in the morning so I did this and I did this in the midst of a couple of months this was not this was not in three months like I don't have a timeline where I said oh this is two months this is three months four months I did this over a period of a while and that's because I was inconsistent but if you're a consistent person then I feel like you'll do really really good with this but my son is waking up, so I gotta go. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. We are growing, honey. I got 58 subscribers right now as we speak, so I'm really happy. But bon appetit, get into it, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Okay.